If you've been doing raids lately, or Mythic Plus, or just running around in the world, and your FPS have been absolute dog crap, you're running around on a powerful PC, 4090, best CPU, and you're still only getting 20 FPS? Well, recently, a discussion in the Week Cars Discord has isolated one of the number one causes of what's going on, and I'm going to go over with it today to help you identify if this is what's causing your FPS is to be a dumpster like this when you're on a machine that's clearly capable of doing more. Like, all right, where, where I'm at right now, I should be getting 120 FPS, not 20 FPS. But they have built a test aura that reproduces the problem so that Blizzard can investigate it, because it's actually kind of an issue in Blizzard's end. But weak ROS is triggering it. But the reason why it was not caught is because traditional CPU rendering doesn't show weak ROS causing it, because it's not particularly the weak ROS code that's doing it. It's something it's doing or telling the game to do. And then the game engine is doing it because it doesn't like what weak ROS is telling it to do. But the CPU profiling would be on the renderer side, not on the add on side. So add on CPU profile wouldn't show anything wrong with the add on. That's why it was overlooked for so long. But now that it's been identified, I'm going to show you right now. I have a test aura called literally kill my FPS. That's obviously, uh, I'm going to set this to load to never. My FPS is now 120. That weak R uh, exploits the bug intentionally to show you worst case scenario. But the thing is, a lot of people are hitting worst case scenario in fights like Egg Tender, where there's nameplates everywhere and there's stuff going on. And they're using weak R's. They're using a very particular feature that's causing the bug. So first, I'm going to show you where the discovery was made in a discussion on their Discord. A user came in, and they basically have 120 FPS with no add-ons enabled. But with add-ons enabled, they had 20 FPS. Basically, what I just showed you is happening to a lot of people in the raid. A lot of people. I'm hearing it in my guild. I'm hearing it amongst friends. I'm seeing it on Twitter. And people don't know what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on in this video. The week our staff started investigating. They asked the user to send their variables. The user sent their variables, and they, they were very enlightening. After some testing, they discovered very particular that any week are using modal effects tank FPS, like really, really hard tank FPS. If that week is using modals, your FPS will go in the toilet. So upon some testing, he told the user, if you disable the modal effects, your FPS will be fine. The user replied. They immediately, like immediately, got like a massive amount of FPS back, disabling the modals. And then developer replied, basically saying their testing showed that for every single modal, it causes a 300 to 500 MS lag on frame draw. That's per modal. Now, let's say you have like a class aura pack or dot trackers, or maybe you have one of those huge uh, raid packs that have auras for like every boss mechanic, and every aura is using a modal. That's why you're, uh, you're dumpstering your FPS. Now, not all uh, weak auras are using modals, so here's how you check. You go into weak auras and like kill my FPS. My FPS is going to be. 50 or 20 right now because when I'm in here, this, the test R is on the screen. But you go to display. You scroll down and look for any modals. Well, this won't show it in there. It's going to be one of those sub R's. See, the sub R's, this has a modal. Now, this is an extreme example because it's loading 200 modals. That's why it's, it's an egregious example. But the thing is, you might have 100 modals, you might have 50, you might have, you might actually have 200, maybe not all in one week, or this test R is obviously a way to, way to reproduce the situation in a single test R. I'm going to delete it because I don't want it to cause any problems anymore. You get the point. Okay, my FPS back to 120. But let's say this auto marker, you see my FPS down here, it's probably really small, but it's like, I have wavering between like 116 to 120, 119. None of my RRs I'm using have modals. None. So weak RRs, no performance issues for me. 
But let me go into display. Let me use this. Let me use my actually has something here. We go. This will work. Display. Add modal. I just lost 10 FPS. One modal. One. One weak aura, one modal. 10 FPS. That's how bad this, this situation is. Look at this. It's averaging between 100 and 109, 110 at most. Delete the modal. Now look at my FPS. It's once again going back to its normal. You know, sticking close to 120, dropping to like 115 at worst. Modals tank your FPS. What you do is to go through your weak auras. For one, in general, if you have weak auras from like last tier, last expansion, get rid of them. I can't emphasize this enough to users. Get rid of old weak auras. You don't realize it, but they're problematic. Get rid of them. But the ones you are using, go to each aura, click on display, and look for any modals. You'll see here, none of them have a modal. And again, I'll show you, I'll add one. If it does have one, it's going to be like modal one. Or modal two. You want to get away from these as much as possible. You could just delete it. It might not even break the weak R. Like just, and if, if it does break the weak R, maybe contact the author of that weak R to, uh, Possibly update it, like apprise them of the situation, show them in this video, and be like, "Look, your weak R is killing my FPS. We figured out why. If you make some changes to your aura, the users will benefit from the increased performance. This is a significant issue that's impacting raids and just gaming and game in general. Like you should be running around smooth like this, not at 20 FPS." And some weak R's, you might even know they're problematic until you get in situations. Maybe this, maybe this particular weak R adds the modals to nameplates. So if you only have one or two nameplates on your screen, it's not an issue. But you go into Egg Tender, you have 20 nameplates on your screen. You go into a Mythic Plus, you've got 20 nameplates on your screen. Now it's a problem. See, like, the weak R I was using to, to demonstrate it was just adding modals right into the middle of the screen. The other ones, they might not be adding them onto the screen at all times. They might only be adding them to nameplates or certain things to the game, so they're not problematic 100% of the time, which is why you get into these situations to where you're only lagging in a raid, or you're only lagging in a Mythic Plus, or you're only lagging in PvP, it's because a specific weak R you're using is adding modals to something in that mode of play. So I hope this video was extremely informative about spreading awareness of the situation, and I'm also going to be talking to Blizzard, too, because I, you shouldn't be blaming weak R's for this. This is not really a problem that, that weak R's is causing. It's some kind of regression in the engine, specifically with War Within, to where using modals just tanks performance. And it's like, the weak R author is not doing anything wrong. The add-on's not doing anything wrong. They're just telling the game to do something, and the game is doing something wrong. Specifically with rendering of these specific features. Anyways, thanks for watching, and sorry for the long gap in videos, but I'm back, and you're going to start seeing videos again. So please hit that like, please hit that subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.